These are outside my house, my containers. I think these are Hungarian hot wax peppers. Right here too. Going pretty well. In a small little bucket I got from Dollar Tree. Over here we got jalapenos loaded in there. We have different pet tomatoes. This one's not looking too hot. It might just be because it's been 90 degrees. These are black creme. I lost the label on this one. I think these are black creme also, but I could be wrong. Got some pretty big fruits on there. We got some basil. Um, these are brandy wine pink. We have green bells going here. This is a sunflower and some other little flowers my niece planted. Get over here, Zeus. Zeus! You guys want to see Zeus? Zeus, sit down. Zeus! It's my dog. My boy, Zeus. And I got this guy, Momo. Momo. Momo's my baby. Zeus. He's a good dog. Except when he's not a good dog, which happens to be more frequent than not. <laughs> but Momo, he's a big, he's a big softy. Get me over here. Excuse me, I'm trying to show people my flat, my plants. I have more green bells in there. This is a yellow pear tomato plant. This one needs a little better staking. This is the Artisan Sunrise Bumblebee. Lots of tomatoes on there waiting for them to turn. Bright color. We have a plum tree. It's been like this since we put it in. No flowers, nothing, but it hasn't died. More peppers. I'm not sure what kind these are. I think they're Anaheim, but I'm not 100% positive. Tomatoes. I think these are the Cherokee Purple. I know I have one of these plants, but they all don't have labels on them. So I don't know which ones are which. I have these pepperoncinis. There's lots of peppers in there. Waiting for these to harvest. We're gonna pickle these. Another tomato plant. This tomato had blossom and drop. I tried the powder milk method in there. We'll see how that goes. And another tomato. And then we have some buckets. I get them for free from the bakery. Oh, they just dropped, knocked my plant over. Look at this. I'm gonna go plant these in ground today. They're big enough. Got small, small seedlings, little starts for my fall garden going on over here. No, I don't do them in the greenhouse. We do them right outside, like everything else. This time of year, I'll sprinkle a bunch of seeds in one little container and then we'll divide them out into bigger containers for maybe a week or two. These ones are struggling a little. They're doing all right though. They're bouncing back. They were struggling. Can I let them get too big? In one of these pots, there was like all 20 something seeds growing in one of these pots. And then I have my last Roma tomato plant outside. And this had blossom end rot too coming. I gave this powder milk also. We'll see if that works. And as of right now, that's all I'm growing at home. Everything else is in our community garden plot. But if you have it, done like me. I started some seedlings for your fall garden. These are all brassicas. Get started. It's about time, guys. Say bye, boys. Momo. Say bye bye. No, guys, they're on guard in case a squirrel decides to cross this fence. 